Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, two videos in like two days. This is pretty incredible. But here we are, it's the last day of August and I thought I'd do my August empties for you all. I know some people out there still enjoy seeing these. So this is the little box from Michael's that I keep everything in. And let's get started. The first thing, I'll do this because I saved this little bag. Um, I have one cartridge from a fountain pen. And I usually just keep the empty cartridges in here because sometimes the ink still leaks out and that can be a mess. So one cartridge from a fountain pen. Just gonna put it on this piece of paper till I can throw it away. Okay, and we'll keep along the pen line here. I have five gel pens. Um, I've been rotating back and forth between gel pens and fountain pens. So I've got three Pentel Energels, one Bic Gelocity, and one Sharpie S gel. I've got two glue sticks. That's what I use for sticking things in my journal. And then I've got four rolls of washi that I use up. Um, once again, this is not what I used all month. Like I didn't use it up in one month, but I used, um, I used up the roll. Like, Sometimes if one's getting really low, then I'll make an attempt to finish that one up. Because Lord knows I have too much washi. I need to use some. And then another thing I use is this Hobonichi Weeks Planner. Um, I started using it as a planner for one certain purpose and it didn't end up working for me. So I used it as a journal, which using your stuff that's what you can do so um i just wrote um that i covered up some of the writing on the bottom if you're familiar with the hobonichi weeks but i just wrote like you know here's the um the numbers of the days of the week and i just wrote down them and wrote and wrote and wrote. And it, this is a pretty slim notebook, um, but I did manage to stick some things in the back like I always do. So, um, a tea from tea, and the um, little message from the tea bag. I love when uh, tea companies do that. Some new washi, um, a note from that came with my order. I bought some traveler's notebook inserts to see if I like them. And the answer is I don't really, but so I'm glad I didn't buy the whole notebook. It's just not um, a good size for me, I, but um, I will use the inserts. Um, I got some sticker seals, flakes, whatever decided I mean I like the, the actual sticker flakes but I don't I'm not a sticker flake person um got some new ink so I put um there's like a little note that came on the ink inside the ink box so I put those in this is from my flight to Boston from my hotel um my parking card from the hotel another baggage thing from flying. Um, I took that off my bags to transfer from Southwest. Another parking ticket because I stayed in the hotel two nights. This came from an envelope and I was using it to um, hold stickers while I was on my trip. 
I just noticed like the tripod shaking, so I hope you guys aren't too dizzy. I don't know why it's shaking so much. But anyway, um, got some new washies, so I did those washes, and that's it. So, um, I know a couple of you had asked about my trip back to Massachusetts, so I just thought I'd talk about it now since it was, it happened in this particular, um, <clears throat> journal. It was a quick five days, so, um, I'm in Arizona now to fly back to Massachusetts. It basically takes all day. So Thursday, I spent traveling, and Monday, I spent traveling. So really, I had like three days. Um, I did get to see my son Thursday night, like he did in July. He came over, and we had, um, he brought food, and we had dinner, and, you know, we kind of caught up. And I actually was with him all weekend because, um, as I've mentioned before, we um, both participate in music groups. He's a drummer. I'm not. <laughs> I'm in a different group. I carry a flag for my group. So we had an event in Connecticut over the weekend. And when we do these um, weekend events, we camp actually like on the field where the event is happening. So um, Friday morning, I went to my storage unit and got all my camping stuff out and put um, and left one of my suitcases there. And then they drove to Connecticut. And of course, there's so like, I, I'm pretty prepared for camping, but um, I had some leftover food and and like bottles of water and stuff that I could use from when I went in July, but I, there were a couple more things I needed to buy. And then I ended up having to buy another blanket because it was so cold. Um, and you know, in Arizona, I'm not used to cold, but so, and then I, you know, we're on the field like, Friday. I got there probably a little afternoon, I think. And I was there till almost the same time, a little bit earlier on Sunday. But, um, but I love doing these events and my friends there are like the best. They're my, they're definitely my tribe. So, it's not really much to report because um, unless you are familiar with the type of music, which is fife and drum, you have no idea. And um, so yeah, that was pretty much my weekend Sunday. I, after we got camp packed up, of course the tents get a little like wet over the night with the dampness. So you gotta wait till they dry out. So after I got camp packed up, I drove back to Massachusetts. Um, I couldn't check into my hotel yet, but it's okay because I had to go to the storage unit anyway and unpack all the camping stuff and then um, unpack my suitcase with things that I had brought back. And then um, I did like I brought back a lot of pens that I'm not using and put those in storage. I just want to have here what I'm actually using and like nothing extra. And what did, what else? I think I brought a couple notebooks. I don't even remember now. And also my son wanted a few things because he still has stuff here at his girlfriend's sister's house. So I brought a few things for him. Um, I did bring some things back out of the storage. I brought some washi tape because I was looking for um, Halloween stuff. I know I had a bunch. So I found the Halloween washi tape. And I think I actually found some stickers too, but that was totally like 
a stroke of luck because we have so much stuff in that storage unit. And, um, and I was like exhausted and dirty from camping and tired and hungry and all of that. So after that, it ended up being time to go back to the hotel and I just relaxed and caught up with my planners and um, journaled a little bit and then I just went to sleep early. I was exhausted and Monday, yeah, just returned the rental car and um, had my two flights back and got back here to reality and uh, that was my whole trip. So nothing very exciting. Um, the thing is now I have no more trips planned and now I'm kind of in the mindset of, or the mindset rather, that um, I have seven more months in this apartment. I have no idea what I'm doing next, but my goal is just to um, cut back where I can, which is hard for me because I'm very um, spontaneous with shopping for things that I like. But I did, um, cut out three sticker subscriptions this week. So that's huge for me. But I also just, I mean, I have tons of stickers. You guys saw in my last video and that wasn't even all my stickers. And um, yeah, so I cut out three sticker subscriptions, brought pens and stuff back to Massachusetts. Um, yeah. Don't ask me what happens in March when my lease is up, because I have no idea, but working towards that one day at a time. Um, I have to laugh because I did that organization video and then because this is what I do, I totally reorganized again this morning. But um, that's it for this video. Um, I loved all the comments on my last video, really made my day to talk to you guys. And um, I look forward to talking to you guys again in the comments and I will see you on my next video. Bye everybody.